it, our graphics department on that nice label that they designed for our culinary department. And uh, you get both chocolate and pumpkin gobs filled with oh. cream cheese icing, my favorite. Mr. So. Bash, do you do you ever partake of the, of the uh, culinary department? They, they do make some delectable uh, things there to eat, I'll tell you that. You so. make your way over from time to time? All, all the time, all the time. <laughs> all the time. There's a steady... Uh group of us that uh, frequent there at lunchtime yeah. because they treat us very well at lunchtime. There you go. Our conversation with our friends from the Indiana County Technology Center brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. So um, Kelly Fox, Tim Bash with us this morning. What's the deal going on there? You had what, financial aid night last night? We did. We partnered with FIA and uh, Julie Fontana came out and talked with our parents uh, for with the students thinking about going on to post-secondary. And she does a great job. She sat with our families and our families walked out of there with smiles on their faces because their FAFSA forms are completed yeah. and they're ready to go with that post-secondary goal. And so that's always a nice event to host. And we gave them cookies. Yeah, they got cookies. <laughs> they got cookies. You got gobs. We got gobs. <laughs> We'll take the gobs. Okay. Um, you know, all right. Take that, the gobs. We don't yeah. have a problem with that at yeah, all. Yeah, and coming up soon, we're going to partner with our business friends. Uh, we'll be hosting our OAC meeting, so Mr. Bash can maybe talk a little bit about that mm -hmm. if he has time because he's got so many wonderful projects going on, too, Does that we know? really want to talk about the community events that he is out and about with his students making things happen in that construction field. Oh, so. very good. Let's mm -hmm. do that. Let's yes. do that. So you got a lot of thing going on, huh? we got a lot of stuff going on uh, we do have the OAC meeting coming up, which is usually the first week in November, second week in November. So we'll have that where our craft people come in. But as far as our carpentry program right now, we're working on a finishing up on our project for the Pennsylvania State Police. Uh, we also have a current project going now that I'm really excited about because it is a renovation project mm -hmm. for a organization called Home for a Cause. Okay, yeah. Which is really a, a unique thing and how it comes about. But the students really get firsthand experience from this house that we're working on right now is stripped down to the studs. Mm -hmm. So we we've cleaned it up and now we're we're just on the we're just on the bubble of starting to go back in and put things in it. Uh, redo some stud work, redo some wiring, electrical. Uh, there's plumbing that has to be done for it as well. Drywall, insulation, the whole thing coming back. So Lots to do for ICTC students there. Yeah, so it's really an exciting thing as far as uh, the renovation side of mm -hmm. construction. So Now, we've had them in before from Homes for a Cause. This is the place on Church Street? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and some excellent people to work with. Uh, they're very flexible with us, and uh, we have the availability to learn as we go along. So that makes it exceptional for us that we can actually have a learning teaching process that follows our curriculum, our POS, and uh, it's not outside our wheelhouse, we might say. So this yeah. works really good for us. Yeah. So we have we have that one going on. We have some other projects coming up beyond that. Uh, some uh, we have one that it, we're looking towards for the Elks, and mm -hmm. so we have uh, a lot of outside projects, which is mm -hmm. really exciting for the students and myself as well. Yeah, well, you know, the interesting thing to me about it is in the carpentry program, just as in all of the other programs, you're going to have all kinds of different skill levels. You'll have the beginners coming in their first year at ICTC. You'll have kids that yes. have been there for this is their their fourth year. Yes. Uh, and so you've got plenty of things for them to do and, and right up and down the whole street, if you will. Well, and it works well because you have the students that have that second, third year of tenure there, and they're now co-teaching or mentor teaching the, the students that really are coming in the door just fresh. They're mm -hmm. excited about learning, but don't really have the skills or the maybe even the knowledge, you know, yeah. as it's it's not a name of a tool, it's a whatchamacallit or a hickamajigger, you know. Tool identification is so important. So, so it, it's exciting to see that process uh -huh. even work in there. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, it's amazing that uh, that kids go uh, in that program, just as in all of the ICT program, from, from mere beginners that maybe have absolutely zero experience, all the way up to quite proficient and proficient enough that they could yeah. actually leave ICTC and go right into the job market. Well, that's that's our goal is that we call them 
entry level. We're not trying to put forth a journeyman type in any of the trades, but we want students to be able to leave there and to be able to acquire a job and and be working and making money right out the door mm -hmm. and and also continuing their education yeah. as they go. And uh, it's exciting to see all the trades mm -hmm. through the uh, ICTC have grown over the last couple, three years, and they're uh, – they're getting full programs, yeah. so that's that's really an exciting turn to see the community, uh, see kids' interest, see, you know, the idea of society saying, hey, I just need a, a trade, something I can do. Time is definitely our friend when our students and the community realizes that our students spend two and a half hours a day, five days a week all year long times three years, mm -hmm. you multiply that out. Time is a huge factor in the success of our students, and it really is what puts them above the average high school graduate. Mm -hmm. It's not that they just took this class. They were invested in this program. Yeah. And because of that time, they're able to earn all of those industry certifications and really, like I said, be above that average high school graduate, and that's what qualifies them for jobs well well above minimum wage. I assume I'd be correct in saying that uh, when we consider the carpentry program at ICTC, we're talking any, everything from finish, uh, uh, rough carpentry to finish uh, carpentry to uh, design all of the different elements of it uh, and, and then the actual acquiring of the skills to, to perform them. Yeah, you're, you're correct, Todd. Actually, our POS carries us from uh, getting our permit to build a building clean through the roof and everything in between yeah <laughs> so any phase or any any part of that uh, cabinetry trim work drywalling uh, roofing you know even even if we go back to the the footers and the foundations where our part of our curriculum has that cement work in it yeah and stuff like that so how many students are we talking about in the program right now Currently in carpentry, there's 34 mm -hmm. in the in the carpentry. It's a big group. It it is. And that's divided a.m. and p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm assuming then that those the younger students, uh, the 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 first year students that are coming in, uh, they're getting their own special classes that will help them to get up to speed. Well, of course you. Like we go back to that identification, products, stuff like that. So we're trying to teach them the terminology. Mm -hmm. The second, third year should know um, and are gaining that knowledge already. So they, so there's individual classes, you might say, where, okay, the first year we're starting here, the second year we're starting here, yeah. third year. And those, uh, those finished products, when they're able to stand back and look at what they've created in carpentry, a, it just make, must make them very proud, and and B, it just must fill them with all kinds of confidence uh, in terms of, here I go, I'm ready to go out and get a job. Well, I think that's true, and I, I said it as of yesterday to some students. I said, you have to you may have to make it so good that somebody will want to buy that or pay you to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just not, okay, we're gluing two pieces of wood together or something like that. So in all the trades and all the all the programs we have, we try to raise the students to the level of that entry level knowledge mm -hmm. where where they can actually talk the talk and walk the walk. Now I know there are open houses, and, and Kelly, you can talk about this as well. There are open houses where people can actually see the work that the students are doing. Are are there other opportunities for people to see what they're doing? Um, social media, uh, website. Um, uh, the basic uh, ways that people these days are able to get their eyes uh, on a piece of work. The uh, Home for a Cause has their own website, oh, which, good. which is incorporated. They're incorporating it with ICTCs, mm -hmm. so we have some visibility there as far as that. Uh, we have other social media that we hook into yeah. as well, the, the Facebook pages and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. You read my mind because I was going to put Tim on the spot and ask him if he keeps an ICTC Facebook page for carpentry. We we do keep an ICTC for carpentry. Uh, it's probably not quite updated for the last 
you know, the beginning of the school year as far as pictures. And I don't know if you know where I'm going going with this, but you didn't talk about the other project that your students are working on right now. I was part of a tour with the IUP Fulbright students Mm -hmm. recently, and when we walked into Carpentry, I was like, ooh, what is that? (laughs) And so there is this beautiful bell tower sitting in the middle of our Carpentry program. And so, Tim, I'd like you to talk a little bit about that bell tower, where it came from and what your students will be doing with that. And I just think... That is a wonderful picture to put, and we we meant to bring it here this morning. We were going to have Josh put it up on Facebook Live, but this bell tower uh, is a really beautiful piece, and they're going to be doing some work to it. So I I would like people to see the progress of this project because it's going to go from what it is now to something better. This is actually a bell tower that was taken off a schoolhouse in Cherry Tree, Mm -hmm. and it, it was built in the late 1800s. So we're going through a complete restoration process of that bell tower. They craned it off the building, brought it to us, and we slid it into our uh, shop area. And uh, one of the students we have, his his grandparents and family owns that building, and they're now bringing it back to a restoration position. So it's really neat. He knows extensive history about it. Uh, he brought us in history that shows the class, the first classes that oh. were there and wow. and all that. Uh, you know, so it's really an interesting project. He's taken a lot of pride in it. Uh, you know, he's a first year student, but his interest has uh, caused us to say, OK, we want you to be the, the lead person in this. You know, mm-hmm. so he has ownership to it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of excitement about it, uh, not only through our school. Um, but through his family. And so uh, so that ownership that you talked about, you know, look at what I sure. did, uh-huh. I think it's going to really shine out on this one. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. Let's get lots of pictures of that. Yeah, yeah. we'll do that. We'll yes. do that. All right, just a moment or so left. Mrs. Fox, anything we need to pass hey, along just to Hey, just want to do a shout out there, not only to the carpentry student going on to skills leadership next week, but to all the ICTC representatives participating in Skills USA and the leadership conference that they're holding at Seven Springs. So we'll mm-hmm. be able to report more about that next month because hopefully we're coming back with some big wins on that and some nice experiences in leadership for our students. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, this has been a good visit. Thanks so much, Tim Bash. Thank you. Kelly Fox, we appreciate it. Todd Marino, thank you. And and thanks to the culinary students. And Josh Whittison, too. (laughs) He stays in the background, but he's there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, well, I wouldn't get far away from those gobs either. That's right. It's the voice of Indiana County WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160.